Good morning. Welcome to my maintenance vlog. Time to get things done. If you watch my other reset vlog, you know what this means. The thing that I want to achieve today, I'm going to say my rules. And look at these bulbs already. They got to go outside. We got a lot less plants now. So let me show you our garden and where we put them. Walking backwards. Let me show you what we're working on in the garden. In this wooden square, we got giant onions. And as you can see, we got our mounds of watermelon right here. It's not, I don't know if you can see the mounds, but they're right there. Here's the little square where our carrots are. Sugar snap pea fence with the beans. They go alongside here and they climb up this wire. I don't know if you can see the wire. Can you see the wire? Here's our mound where the cucumbers are. Right in that one right there. This mound is where our cantaloupe is. This is gonna be pumpkin, even though it's kind of, I don't know what this leaf is right here, but yeah, this is gonna be pumpkin. I don't know what this that is. Let me show you where the flowers are. Call it the flower bomb, but actually it's a flower rocket. Remember from my last video when I bought it? A Dollar Tree? Well, we put it in this pot right here. You can put it in the pot inside, but I wanted to put it outside in the pot. And I think those are it right there coming up. And here is the bulbs. Remember the bulbs that we planted that came up in the house? They're in these little concrete blocks. Remember the sunflower that we planted in the house? There it is. Okay, we didn't put these in the garden. We put them a little bit away from the garden on these lattices, the beans and peas. Uh, they're not doing as well as I hoped they would be doing, but maybe they'll get bigger, I don't know. It's okay, we planted, of course, more sugar snap peas and beans in the other garden. This is a little bit away from the garden, so. Two tomato plants out, if you can see them in there. Hey, do you see? So yeah, we're, uh, what's on me here? Me and my sister are gonna go back to work in the garden. Good morning. I wanted to show you guys my nails. I did a heart shape tip and it's light purple with some purple glitter. I love it. It's very princessy. Very me. Okay, things that I would like to achieve today. I really need to clean my room. Oh my goodness. Because I've been working outside and I have not been working inside. But I gotta clean up my room and find some things because I want to film tomorrow. I put a poll on my community tab on what summer nail art I should film next. And I just checked the community tab. Mermaid nail art is winning by 80%. My video ideas come from you guys. So thank you for your input. Definitely make my videos better. Let's get those curtains open. I planted the flower rocket right outside my window, by the way, so I can see it. Box that endless, endless amount of flowers. I'm trying my best to organize my closet in here, and here's my two filming baskets. I gotta take some things out of there to film with, because if I'm doing tips, I gotta take my tips out of here. My nail, beetles nail tips that I love. I'm gonna film with those. I kinda wanna do a video about this, like a whole review video. That's why I haven't opened it. It's a Dollar Tree uh, nail grooming set. I don't know, what do you think? Should I do a video about it? Up here I got my scrunchies. I gotta put all my hair stuff in this basket. I gotta put my nail stuff in here. I put my sewing stuff in here. As you can see the giant embroidery hoop. My bit box or whatever they call it. And then I fold clothes up here, like the hoodies and stuff. But I have to refold them. Look at my jewelry basket. It's just a mess. I gotta organize all that. Here is my little Hobby Lobby box that I keep my nail stuff in. And also at the top of it, I kind of keep some of my hair stuff. I gotta put everything away. That's like on my filming desk over here and stuff like that. Um, oh my goodness. All my rhinestones go in here. It needs to be a little more organized than this, but kind of out of whack. I really love this box that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was only $7, which is a steal because all these like little compartment containers are all $20 to $30. This was $7, $7.99 or something like that. So it's just a great deal. I wish I would have bought more. I just washed my silicone nail mats with just soap and water. Hello, a lot has happened since the last time I talked to you. I got my room pretty much cleaned up as you can see. Most important thing is I got my desk all cleaned up. I just folded it up for right now. I put up my ring light and my camera stand to film my nail tutorial tomorrow. And also, if you've been watching my vlogs, you know that I've been searching for brackets. And I went to a different Walmart and they had some sale. Ta-da! I got my shelves up. My brother helped me. And here's the first one right here. It's not decorated yet. I got the Lilo and Stitch house up there. <laughs> but it's not decorated. And now I gotta fix my filming lights that are right here. Then the one that I was talking about right here, we got up and it has retail on it with Iris and Reese right there. I I think it looks so cute. I'm gonna decorate it more. I just put that up there for now. And the last shelf that I was talking about, these are just all pine boards. I thought they looked nice. I just put my 3DS games up there, but I'm gonna decorate them. They're gonna look uh, a lot nicer and better later. And also in my closet, I got my jewelry all organized and put back together. I did some other organizing in my baskets as well. I'm so happy with what we got done today. I finally got to put up my shelves, but I gotta go to bed now because I'm gonna get up and film 
some summer nail art tutorial and I'm gonna probably be doing mermaid nail art because it won the poll on the community tab. So let's head for tomorrow. Good morning. I'm so glad I'm all like I cleaned up. Yesterday was a good day. I mean, I got my shelves up finally. My brother helped me. Shout out to my brother for helping me. Now it's time to set up and film a nail tutorial. Right, I got my filming set up. I just gotta put my ring light down. But what I just sided with of my beetle bag nails. And I think I'm gonna incorporate this mermaid glitter. Aftermath of filming. I got it done. Review of the nails. Now all I have to do is edit this video together. It's fully filmed. Funny that I'm talking to you about filming this video and you've probably already seen it. <laughs> After all that filming, now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go eat some pinwheels. And then I'm gonna take a rest and we'll go from there. I totally forgot I gotta clean up my desk because I'm done filming now. I really love this mermaid glitter from Amazon. It just levels up any mermaid manicure. Okay, I'm putting in my uh, nail filming baskets away. I put my nail mat in there. Store all my nail filming stuff in these. So, I got them all put away. Howdy. Before I end this day, I want to quick show you what I got in the mail. Oh, and I took off my mermaid nails that we did earlier. The good thing about when you're doing a fake nails manicure, you can just pop them off and then reapply them when you want to wear them. So what I have on my nails right now is just some nail art inspired by my Instagram follow. Package from Nails Addict. It's not Nails Addict anymore, but they recently went through a name change. The bottle looks the same, but the name's called Nail Reserve. And I've done videos about them before. Pretty much to sum them up, they're kind of expensive, kind of bougie. They make really nice gel polishes, usually creams. I thought it was nice of them to send me all these gel polishes. And I swatched them on some swatch sticks because right now I can't really swatch any gel polishes on my nails because I'm filming and doing other things and you know gel polish can be kind of hard to remove. And I don't have any peel off base coat that is water based that I can use with my gel polish swatching. So I can't really swatch right now. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I just recently tried out gel peel off base coat. I did that vlog. And I have used it some since then, but I just can't use that all the time because it just being gel it's just uh, I just notice it's a little harder on my nails so I don't want to use it all the time I feel like if you use a water based peel off base coats more often it's a little less harsh on your nails but anyways I swatched them on these swatch sticks so let me show you first up is forest spirits let me down okay let me down the exposure so you can see sorry I got nail polish on my Palm. It's this beautiful kind of neon green and it's opaque in two coats cream and it's absolutely gorgeous It's my favorite next is Wanderer and it is a very very light cool tone gray As you can see it's very light gray. It's beautiful I do not have a gel polish like it and it's opaque in two coats and it's a beautiful cream I wish I could swatch these on my nail next is little star, which is a pink cream as you can see It's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of a dustier pink cream cream. Pink in two coats. I love it because you know I love pink. It's my favorite color. Next up is another pink cream that kind of leans more purple. It's like two shades darker than the one I just showed you. Next one they gave me is this beautiful classic red cream. I gotta stop myself because I want to say nails at it. Next is this very very dark brown they gave me. I don't know if I really like this one too much because it's kind of, I don't know, it's just really dark. It seems more like a black but it is, you know, darker brown. It's pretty, I guess. It was opaque in three coats for me which was kind of strange. I guess maybe I did really thin coats. I'm not sure because how dark it is. You think it would be opaque in two coats. I don't know. Next is a dark orange cream and that would be absolutely beautiful for this summer. It's really nice opaque coats. And the last polish that they gave me, white cream, that's almost gray. And that's the best way I can just explain it. I know, beautiful, to, opaque and to go. So that is what I got in the mail this week. Oh my goodness, it was a surprise. You guys actually really inspire me. Because you always suggest like nail art ideas to me. And I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. And then I want to do it on my nails. If you got any ideas what to do with this beautiful, lighter green gel polish, let me know down in the comment section. Anyways, I got to go to bed because tomorrow I'm totally painting my toenails tomorrow. Yep, you heard me. I have been painting my toenails in a whole month, which is not good for my toenails. And they're covered, that means the protect. So I really need to paint them tomorrow. But to do that, I need to go to bed. So good night. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today we got some things that we gotta do.
and welcome to me sitting on my floor. I'm getting ready to do my toenails. I'm gonna paint my toenails. Oh my god. I got my nail mat here and I'm gonna set it on the floor. There's mermaid glitter all over my nail mat from what I found. I don't think this is just super weird anyways because I never paint my toenails in the early morning. This is like the first thing I'm doing after getting up and that's really weird because I never paint or do my pedicures in the morning. I always do them later at night. I can't do it later tonight. Bed early because I have a dentist appointment in the early morning so I gotta go to bed tonight so I can get up for the dentist please. So here we are. After I do this I gotta go upload one of my videos and put the information in for them. And then I gotta wash my hair. I have not washed my hair in forever so I really gotta do that today. So let me grab my foot. Boop. Here it is. And put it on the nail mat. And get to work. I keep a lot of manicure stuff in my Kubota. So let's open it up. I'm gonna do a rendition of this manicure right here. All right, toes are done. I think they look good. I also trimmed them too. I went with a sunflower design. I think it's perfect for summer. Since I'm gonna wash my hair tonight, I have a routine that I do. Is the night that I'm gonna wash it, earlier in the day, I will put coconut oil in it from like here down. And then I put like my hair up in a braid or a bun. And I just let my hair kind of soak up the coconut oil. I just kind of rub it in my hands first a little bit to get it a little pliable. I don't know. Look, it looks like I straightened my head. I can't put my hair in a bun. Pull my hair back. Droop, droop, put that bun in my hair. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna braid the rest of the existing hair and wrap it around the bun. Sock bun, I just made out of a sock bun. Okay. And then just put my hair up lustily. And I'm just wrapping around the bun. I have really long hair, so I can just keep wrapping it. And then I'm just gonna secure my hair with the... I don't know if you can see it, but it's all rolled up. I usually wash it twice just to get all the product out of my hair and I condition once. Alright everybody, I got my hair washed. I've been sticking to my hair care routine and I can see the difference. My hair looks a lot softer and healthy. Now I think I'll put a couple of curlers in it and then I'm gonna go to bed. I have an early dentist appointment tomorrow and I gotta be up for that. Yeah, see you tomorrow guys. Good night. I probably won't show you too much of getting ready because I gotta do this quick. I gotta go. So, on to the dentist. Just got down with the dentist and everything's good. Hello, just checking in. It's the end of the day. I'm so glad my dentist appointment went well. I have no cavity. Bottom wisdom tooth though was kind of poking through, which is strange because I'm in my middle 20s and usually your wisdom teeth are all settled by like 22. So that's kind of weird. She gave me a lovely toothbrush to clean that wisdom tooth. And then I got a normal toothbrush. I've had a lot of work done on these teeth. I want to keep them nice. Like when I was 12, I had headgear. I had braces for years. I still have to wear my retainer every single night. Shout out to my parents who brought me to the dentist and helped take care of these teeth. I think my smile is pretty nice and I want to keep it that way, but of course, you know, I got to keep up on maintaining it with brushing teeth, dental floss and stuff like that. And I don't lighten my teeth at all because I like to keep the just normal off-white kind of shade because of course you're not supposed to have like really, really yellow teeth. Early white teeth isn't normal either. That's abnormal. Um, so I just keep my natural off-white color. But anyways, I gotta go to bed because I'm really tired. <laughs> I was up early this morning for this dentist. So I gotta get back to work with editing. I gotta get this mermaid. I keep calling it the mermaid manicure vid, but it's actually baking glitter encapsulated mermaid nail. I mean, I got my hair done. Well, at least I did my hair care routine. And I have been doing my nail care routine, you know, putting a little garlic on my nails and moisturizing. Getting stuff done. Let's continue it, but let's continue it tomorrow because I gotta go to bed. Good night. Oh, hello, we're back on the floor. Next day, and you know what I have to do today? I've been putting it off. I feel like anyone who owns nail polish usually has to run maintenance on their polishes. When they get a little thick, like these ones that I have in my hand are, gotta get a little dropper. 
and you gotta get some nail polish thinner and you gotta drop it in there. I'm not doing glitter nail polish today because that's a little bit of a different process. I'm just doing some cream. I got these Simply polishes. After a while they get kind of thick. And then I have my one of my favorite polishes of all time. The LA Colors Perky one. And then some pure ice. What I'm doing today, I'm just looking at the consistency. And I just take a little bit of thinner and I drop it in. It? I wanted to show you guys because I've been getting a couple of comments about it. Like how much thinner do you put in? But it really depends on your polish of how many drops you put in. If it's a really dried up polish, it's gonna need a lot of thinner. But if it's not that dried up, it probably won't need as much thinner. I'm just gonna roll it, mix it together. Sometimes the pigment's really hard in there. You gotta do this. You just gotta have to slap it on your hand. I put about five drops in it. Can you see it? That's a better consistency. And that one's done. I've never had nail polish expire on me. I just put nail polish thinner and revive it. The only time I uh, discard polish if I use it all. It's the only time I get rid of him. And the nail polish thinner I use is just the super nail. It is the generic one from Amazon. But I know that it's best practice, like if you have OPI polishes, to use OPI thinner. But I have so many polishes from so many different brands that I could never try to get the right thinners to all of them. So I just use the default one on Amazon. And it all depends on what your polish looks like, how many drops. You can just start with a few and then kind of build it up if it's just not coming that nice uh, spreadable. I felt like it was butter spreadable consistency. <laughs> Okay, now that I'm done putting some thinner in some of my polishes, I'll try to keep up on that. Maybe I'll do that once every month. Because I have a lot of nail polishes, so of course I can't sit down and do all the ones that are kind of dried up and old. But I'm glad that I got some done today. I'm gonna go finish my glitter encapsulated mermaid design video. But since you live in the future, why don't you click right here to watch it?